Here's 10,000 whites coming to kill me. And in those 10,000, or let's say here's 10,000 rattlesnakes coming to bite me. And in those 10,000, there was 1,000 that didn't mean no harm. And I knew there was a good thousand snakes out there, but they all look alike. Now, what should I do? Should I keep the door open and let the 10,000 in, hoping that the thousand will unite and save me and one bite will kill me? Or should I just be safe and shut the door? So we have white people say, I mean right. I have a black husband. Oh, my children are black. I love everybody. I really believe you. But I'm sorry, man, there's 10 more thousand behind you that don't feel that way. I'm just sorry, but what am I going to do? <laughs> it's your boy, T to the motherfucking sis, bitch. Back for another motherfucking video. You know what? I'm fed up again today. I'm pissed off today, man. Tonight. I'm pissed the fuck off. I'm pissed again. Nothing, uh, nothing, nothing of the unusual. I'm pissed off again. And I got a vent. You know, it, having a bad day today, man. Having a bad day. Right? Today, and I ain't gonna get into the details, but today... My family was on my ass about shit. They was on my ass. You know, it was, oh, you need to go get a job. Go go to, go to work. Go get a job. Go to work. And I'm like, nigga, I'm trying to fucking go to work. I'm trying to find a job. It just takes time. You know, like I'm looking. It's just they haven't called me back. And it, they was on my ass. Saying, it was getting annoying. You know, and the whole family was on my ass about get, going, getting a job. I'm like, I've been looking for a job. It's just they haven't called me back. Right? I've been looking for a job, bro. Well, you need to go get a fast food job and go do that until you get the job you want. I'm like, damn, now I got to do that shit. Now I got, I, I got to get a fast food job. I haven't worked fast food in years since I've been 19. I'm 24. That's been five years, man. It's been five years. So now I got to get a fast food job until I get the job I want. So my family was on my ass. I got into a little... Uh, my, I mean, I got into a confrontation with my mom and stuff, and I'm not going to get into all the details, but that was annoying, man. I mean, my family was on my ass. Number two, I got a fucking mouse in my house. The other day, I saw some. I was laying, I was laying on the floor, and something ran across my, my motherfucking face. I said, what the fuck was it? It was like the flash. It was like, pew. I said, nigga, what the fuck was that? Like, I, like I didn't fucking... I did I wasn't able to get like a full glimpse of the shit. It wasn't like a full glimpse. It was like it was just it was so far it was like I saw a blur of I said, what the fuck was that? Right? And then I was sitting on the couch and I saw something else dash a call. I'm like, nigga, am I tripping or am I fucking seeing like am I seeing shit? Or is it actually something running running across this motherfucker? Like what the fuck's going on? Like I'm like, what is that? And then I'm in the bathroom, I'm on the phone talking to somebody, and I see some shit. I said, yeah, I said, okay, that got to be a motherfucking mouse, nigga. That got to be a fucking mouse, because I'm seeing this shit dash across this motherfucker. It got to be a mouse. So I got a mouse in this house that I got to fucking catch. I'm pissed off about that. And then I, uh, today, I had came, because I, I was at my grandma's house. I came on my bed, and I saw a fucking cricket on my bed, dismembered. Ew, I'm like, why the fuck is there a dismembered cricket on my fucking bed? What the, who the fuck? How the fuck did this dis... Why is there a dismembered cricket on my bed? And I said, oh, shit. A mouse ran called shit? Yep, that's a motherfucking mouse that dismembered that motherfucking cricket, man. So now I got to catch this motherfucking mouse. And that's going to piss me the fuck off, man. So I'm pissed off about... So I'm pissed off because my family was on my motherfucking ass about getting a job. And they was on my fucking ass about that. I'm pissed off there's a fucking mouse in my motherfucking house. And then I'm pissed off because I've been used again. I've been used. So, title of the video. At this point, I'm no longer the hero anymore, motherfucker. I am no longer the hero. My hero academia. I want to be a hero too. 
Deku, no, nigga, I'm not, I'm no longer the hero no more. Fuck this shit. I, I, I'm not trying to save the day no more. I'm done. I'm not saving the day no more, nigga. Fuck this shit. I, I'm not saving shit. I'm done. Now, I wouldn't call myself the villain, but I'm, I'm not the hero no more, nigga. I'm neutral. I'm not on the side of good or evil. I'm just nothing. I'm on no side, nigga. Fuck this shit. I, I can't take this shit no more. Piss the fuck off tonight, man. So, getting to the fucking story, <sighs> like, there's a, and back to this again, there's a female that I haven't talked to in a long time, right? And um, I'm not going to say I liked her or nothing like that, but she came off that she that she really liked me and shit. Like, she came off like she really liked me. Let me see that mouth. Because I fucking trapped that mouse in that fucking closet. Now I got to open that bitch and get, hopefully grab that son of a bitch, man. Fuck. I want to grab that motherfucker, man. I'm pissed, man. So, she she apparently liked me. She always said, I love you. I love you. All that bullshit. And, you know, I don't trust people. So, even though she was saying that shit, I'm like, mm-hmm. I was like, that's cat, but okay. She's like, I'm not lying to you. I love you. And I'm like, yeah. Because, you know, girls be talking that bullshit. They don't be, you know, girl, women talk that talk that bullshit. I don't, you know, they be talking that shit, but they don't really mean that shit, right? They be just talking that shit. So I said, all right, cool, you know. And um, I was the one that, this was like last year, I was the one that offered to send her money when she needed it. Because back then, I thought if a girl fucked me that... I'll, I'll return the favor by giving her money sometimes, you know? Like, I'll give her some cash here and there. That's what I told her. She didn't ask me. I was the one that brought it up. So then recently, she said, hey, remember when you told me that you was going to start giving me money? And I said, oh, yeah, facts, 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 yeah. She said, yeah, can you send me like $100? And at the time, I didn't really have that. I mean, I had it, but it wasn't really... Because I, I had quit my job around that time. I said, okay, it's not really good for me to give this right now. But I just gave it to her anyways because I did say I was going to do that. So I just said, okay, I well, I did say it. So let me honor my word. So I gave her the fucking $100. And then um, she asked me for something else recently. And I had to get it from someone else to give it to her because I don't got no money right now. So I did that shit. And, um, you know, she also said, I love you. I love you. All that shit, right? And, like, to be honest, like, I just wanted her just to be, like, my fuck buddy. Like, a friends with benefits kind of situation. Like, something like that. Friend, like, a fuck buddy. Like, I wasn't really trying to date her or nothing. Like, I wasn't really trying to date her or anything like that. But, but, but I, I thought she really cared about me, though. But I find out from her friend... Her friend told me that um, she was like, because like she asked for some money and shit, and she called her on the phone. She was like, oh, yeah, you know, he'll send me money because he's a dummy. And yeah, you know, like she was just saying, basically, it, that she was basically saying that she's using me, basically. And it was just like, damn, right? And then I thought that she was, which I, my dumb ass, like, Sometimes I don't I don't even follow my own advice. Sometimes I don't even follow my own advice sometimes. Or I sometimes may forget my own fucking advice. That's why I sometimes go back and watch my videos over again. Just so I can remember what the fuck I said sometimes. So, then she, I, I said, okay. I said, okay. I was like, hey. I was talking to her friend. And her friend was like, hey, you know, I just want to let you know because you seem like you're a nice person. And I don't want no one to take advantage of you and stuff like that. So, Blah, blah, blah. And also that she told her, she she said that she was also using her because that same girl gave her 300 bucks. So he, she was like, hey, you know, that's not good. You know, that, that you're using him. Like, you know, like like he's trying to look out for you and you're using him. Man. And uh, she gave her like a lot. Like she, the girl that told me that gave her a lot of money. She said, hey, you got to pay me back. And she said, I ain't paying nothing back. And blah, blah, blah. And da, da, da. She was saying that shit. And basically, she was using both of us, basically. And I didn't even fucking know that shit because when I was talking to her, 
Because I talked to her last year, and then I talked to her for a long ass time, and then I talked to her recently, and I and she ne- it never came off like she was using me. I thought she really liked me and shit, right? But I can't fucking um, I can't fucking like, I can't act like I'm, I'm completely innocent because when I first met her, I think she was trying to date me, but I was like, I don't want to date her. I was just trying to keep her around. This would be a fuck buddy. But I never lied to her though. Like I never. I never lied to her. I just kind of, cause I think one time she asked me, she, she was like, hey, are you just using me? And I, are you just using me for my body? And I think I kind of like turned the question around or something like that. So I can't act totally innocent in this situation, but like, it, like what the fuck? I, I just did not expect that. Right. Right. Like, like I just didn't know. And then I said, Hey, uh, I was like, What's the kind of guys that she normally talks to? She said she likes assholes, guys that, you know, are assholes. And then I was like, hey, is she loyal? She said, hell no, she got a phone full of niggas. I'm like, what the fuck? And this girl's not even all that. She's like a six. But that that goes back to what I tell you. Even a girl that's not all that good looking still has a lot of niggas in their DMs. Even a chick that you think, oh, she she all right. Even an all right looking girl got hella niggas in their DMs. Even an okay looking girl, a girl that's all right. It doesn't matter. She can be bad, bad and boot. My bitch bad and bougie, cooking the bubba the oozy, bubba the bubba the bougie. Hey, hey, I, I, what 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 you left? What you left on bad and bougie? Let all bad and bougie. Do let all bad and bougie. You know, bad. Even if she bad and bougie, she can be a ten, nine, uh, fucking eight, seven, six. Still got a lot of niggas. It doesn't matter. Women just have more options than men. That's just how it is. Even when it comes to giving birth, all the sperm races towards that one egg. The sperm is the male's DNA. The egg is the female. It's only one fucking egg. All them fucking sperm rushing to it. That's just how it is, man. It just women just have more options. They they have more more pickings to pick from. Us men, we're blessed with more physical strength. Women are blessed with more uh, partners to pick from. That's just how it. That's just how it is. Even in the wild, the, all the women have all the niggas trying to fuck them and shit. <laughs> that's just how it is, man. You know, would you sacrifice less strength for more bitches, or would you keep your strength and just get less bitches? I'll just keep my strength and just get less bitches because women they be getting assaulted all the time and all of that because they don't have the strength. Yes, they got all those options, but they don't have the strength to protect themselves. So I'll just sacrifice getting all the bitches and just have more strength. I, I, I'll just pick that. You feel me? You smell me, motherfucker. But, um, yeah, man, like, I'm just like, what the fuck, man? I'm like, I didn't even know she was on that type of timing, you know? I'm like, what the fuck? Right? I just didn't, like, that's fucked up. Bro, I'm telling you, bro, this is why I don't fuck with people, man. I'm telling you, this is exactly why. This is exactly why. You know, now I I don't want to play like I'm super innocent in this situation. Like I said, but damn, like I like I still was like looking out for her, even though I didn't want to date her. Like I still wanted to like, you know, look out for her a little bit. You know, I mean that's that's fucked up, man. That's fucked up, dude. Seriously, you know. Damn, see if that mouse mouse is out there. I, I know I closed that door on his ass. Punk ass motherfucker coming in my motherfucking house trying to take my cheese and shit. Fuck this motherfucking mouse, man. This ain't Tom and Jerry, bitch. Fuck out of here, motherfucker. I'm gonna catch your motherfucking ass. Throw your ass to a python, motherfucker. But no, nah, man. Bullshit, man. Seriously. Come on, man. That's why I don't like people, dude. I'm telling you. Everybody's just trying to use somebody in this world, man. There's no such thing or it's rare as a genuine friendship. It's rare. It's rare to have a genuine friendship, a genuine anything. It's nothing. It's genuine. It's all just take, take, take. Like Tupac said, uh, uh, he said, "Gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give take, 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 crush, 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 stomp, stomp, stomp." That's all it's about. That's all life's about. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give take, 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 crush, 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 stomp, stomp, stomp. That's all this life's about, man. You know, gimme, gimme, give gimme, give take, 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 crush, crush, crush. It's fucked up. You know, she was just using my fucking ass. I mean, you know, 
I mean, I, I mean, I guess I was using her too for her body, I guess, but I still wanted to like make sure she was like safe and stuff, make sure she was all right. Like I wanted to make sure she was cool. I didn't want to date her or nothing, but I don't know, man. It's just, it's just fucked up, bro. Like, like when a person has to survive, like when a person has to acquire resources, they'll do anything to get it. They'll do anything to get what they're like food, water, shelter, clothes. Even if it comes at a cost of backstabbing your bitch ass, they'll do anything it takes to get it. Because if they didn't need it, then there'll be no reason to be fake because they already have the resources that they need. But but if a person, because like this girl, she don't really got much. So because she needs that shit, she's like, all right, nigga. Yeah, I'm gonna do whatever I can. Like, like the fucking song. There's a song by A Z. Listen to that song. It's called Ho Happy Jackie. Nah, when a motherfucker need that need that that cream, they'll do anything to get that cream out your fucking ass. And and that's just what that's just what happened, man. Once again, used again, man. I began used for a long time, bro. I got used by one nigga that just wanted to use me because I was buying him alcohol and giving him uh giving him gas money. I had another nigga that was using me because, uh, well, how he was using me because I had more money than him. He wanted to use me for my shit and use me and shit, right? He wanted to use me and fucking, cause I had more resources than him. So he wanted to use me to have a place to stay and just use my fucking ass. And then I got used by, or not used, but a bitch that fucking was just playing games on my ass. And she didn't really like me. She was just acting like she did. I got used by her, and then I got used by another bitch who was older, who was at, oh, I like you, but she was on bullshit. I'm tired of being fucking used, man, seriously. I'm sick of this shit. Every motherfucker I come across just takes advantage of my fucking ass. That's why they say kindness, kindness, uh, what they say? People take kindness for a weakness. That's real talk. When you a kind-ass motherfucker, people take advantage of your bitch ass. If you a kind ass motherfucker and you want to help people, you want to give them money, like, cause, cause I'm a nigga, I'm the kind of nigga to where if I'm in your corner, I'm in your corner. Hey bro, you need some money? If I got it, I, if, if I got it, I got you. Is that a crack? Oh no. Okay. If you need money, yo, if I got it, bro, I got you. Hey, yo, sizzle, bro. There's some niggas trying to jump me, bro. I need your help. I, I'm over there. Right? First, I'm going to try to talk it out. But if I don't work, all right, all right, we finna fight together, nigga. We finna fight together. We finna fight these niggas together, motherfucker. Whether we win or lose, nigga, I'm going to be by your fucking side, nigga. Fuck out of here, motherfucker. You need some advice? Then I sit your punk ass down and I'll talk to your stupid ass. I'll talk, I'll talk to you, listen to your problems and give you some, uh, a, a sound opinion on what you're going through, man. Right? If you're trying to open a business or you're doing something, I'm going to support your vision. I'm going to support your dreams. I'm going to support you. I'm going to be there by your side on some Naruto shit. You feel me? Now, Mar Naruto's probably a way better friend than me because I wouldn't go that far for somebody. But, you know, I, but, like, but, like I'm but, like I'm but like I'm still a solid nigga, you know. You know, I'm a solid ass nigga, you know. I'm solid like a brick wall. Right? But niggas... People ain't built like that no more, man. People ain't solid like that. People are fugazi. They fake. They'll laugh, smile on your face like this, and then they'll talk behind your back. Smile on your face like this, and then backstab you. Smile on your face like this, or be plotting on your downfall, man. That's just how it is, bro. These niggas and these females, all of them. It doesn't matter if they white, black, fuck all that shit. All human beings are like this, or most of them. I ain't gonna say all most human beings. People say, oh, if you go to another country, people are way nicer. Man, I ain't, I, man fuck all that. I don't care about none of that shit. They probably nice to you because they know you're an American and, and they know you got money in your wallet, nigga. It's kind of like when you go to a restaurant and the fucking wait, and the waiter and waitress is nice to you because they're expecting a tip. That's all that is. When, when a person's going to get money out your ass, they're going to be nice to your punk ass because they're expecting to get something from your fucking punk fucking ass, man. If you don't got nothing to give them, they ain't nice to you, nigga. I mean, I, I, I don't know that for a guaranteed fact, but 
I'm just assuming that most motherfuckers are like this, bro. Even though I never traveled outside America, I'm just assuming this is all most human beings, man. Fake. I don't give a fuck where you go, nigga. You're going to experience that shit every motherfucking word, nigga. Most likely. I mean, I don't know for 100%, but I'm just speculating, dude. Because it's just ridiculous. Maybe some places better than others, but come on, man. I, I know human beings are like this. Even the passport bros. Oh, if you go to Brazil, the women are way better than American, man. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure, okay, they may, I, I mean, I've never been there, so I can't, like, I can't get my opinion on this all the way, but, nigga, I, I, I feel like a woman's a woman, dude, seriously. All, more, all, all types of women are hypergamous, you know, they're always gonna get the nigga that got the bigger wallet or got the most status, that's just what women like, bro. They like status, they like fame and money, dude. If I went to Brazil and fucking... What's that nigga's name? I don't fucking know that nigga. His name is fucking... I don't... Some fucking Brazilian c celebrity. I don't know any Brazilian celebrities. If, if I try to pick up a girl and said, Baby, I'm from America. Nigga, they cut me young sizzle, Nick. And then some fucking celebrity from Brazil was like... She'd be like... And then she's gonna go with that motherfucker and leave me all by my motherfucking self. All by myself. I mean, that's just what I feel like women do all around the world, dude. That's not just America, man. Come on now. Fuck out of here. You think they going to date your ass and you don't got no fucking bread, motherfucker? They may, to they may tolerate you. They may tolerate you until you find something better. You know, that's what women do. Women tolerate a man until they find a, a nigga that's better than you. That's just what women do. And when I say better, that means more status, more money. So a girl might be lonely and, oh, oh, this guy, oh, he's cool. Not exactly my type all the way, but I can deal. I, I can deal with him for right now until I fucking get a celebrity or get Drake or get Kanye West or some shit. Let me just let me just keep this guy around until I get better. That's what women do. So don't think that you have a girl on lock, nigga. No one can fuck my bitch, nigga. No one can fuck my bitch, nigga. You, nigga my bitch, nigga. My bitch, nigga. Oh, uh, nigga. No one fuck my bitch, nigga. My hoe, nigga. My bitch, nigga. You know what I'm saying, nigga? That nigga. No, nah, nigga, if the, if the right nigga come by, nigga, she going, nigga. And niggas be going, too. I ain't finna be talking about women because niggas be going, too. Nigga, uh, uh, you know, a lot of niggas cheat. You know, if there's a bitch with a fat ass, she, he, nigga, that nigga gonna fuck that bitch. So I ain't just gonna talk about women. Cause I know niggas cheat, too. If a bitch got a fat ass, he, he finna fuck that bitch, bruh. Real talk. So I'm not even finna fucking just get on women and shit. I gotta take me a piss, nigga. Fuck you talking about, nigga. Real nigga, certified nigga in this motherfucker, bitch. Hmm. Fucking mice in this goddamn house, man. Get the fuck out of here, dude. It's bullshit. <laughs> but no, bro, I ain't just been talking about women and shit, dog. bro that's just you know that's just what it is bro like i said like i'm like damn for real like that was i mean like it didn't shock me like a hundred percent because i'm kind of used to people being bullshit but it shocked me a little bit i'm like damn for real like what the fuck like <laughs> like what the hell bro like that's just fucked up man damn that I'm telling you bro like I said, bro, and, and, and the reason why I put that shit in the beginning of the video, Muhammad Ali, he was like, well, what if there's 10,000 white people that's trying to come kill Because back then it was racist as shit. What if there's 10,000 white people that's trying to come kill me? And out of that 10,000, there's like 1,000 white people that, that, that like me and love me and shit. He said, should, should I try to d differentiate which one's the bad one and which one's the good one? When they all look the same, he said, no, nah, fuck that. I'm going to just say fuck all y'all motherfuckers. And I respect that because that's some real nigga shit. I'm the same way. 
Yes, I know everybody is not bad. I know that. But if there's, I'm using the same analogy. If there's 10,000 bitch ass niggas out there, no, 10,000 10, motherfuckers, out of that 10,000, there's 9,000 bitch ass niggas, and there's only 1,000 real motherfuckers. Am I gonna, nigga, do you, like, Am I going to try to shift through all that and see which one's the real nigga and which one's the fake nigga? Fuck, no, I'm going to say fuck all y'all niggas. Fuck, I ain't finna do all that shit and fucking uh, waste my time doing that. Hell no, I'm going to say fuck all y'all motherfuckers, dog. I'm not finna fucking shift through the crowd trying to find out who's a real nigga. Fuck that, I'm going to say fuck all y'all motherfuckers. So that goes for all, that goes for, at this point, that, that goes for anybody, man, real talk. I, I, I'm sorry, bro, that, like... At this point, I, I'm just at that level now, bro. Real talk. I don't care if you're a nihilist, anti-natalist. I don't care if you don't believe in God. I don't care if you're black. I don't care about none of that shit. I'm going to just say fuck all y'all niggas. I don't care if you're a woman. I'm going to just say fuck all y'all niggas, bro. Real talk. I don't give a fuck. I, I'm sorry. That's just how, that's just how I got to protect myself. Because if I let people in, there's a chance that, that I'm going to get hurt in the process. So I'm going to say fuck everybody. I don't give a fuck who it is, bro. Real talk. Men, women, black people. You don't want to help the black community, black man? No, nigga. I ain't helping out shit. No, nigga. You think just because a motherfucker black that they got your back? Hell no. Nah. Nigga, Tupac was shot by a black motherfucker. The nigga that tried to save the black community with his music. They shot his fucking punk ass. Well, he ain't a punk ass, but they shot that motherfucker. You know? Yeah, let me take that back. Tupac a real nigga. I ain't finna say punk ass. They shot his ass, man. You know? They shot Nipsey Hussle, who was trying to help out the community. They shot XXX Tatashion for spreading mental mental health awareness and shit. Because, through, cause like, yeah, that nigga spreaded mental health awareness through his music. That mental health awareness. That now is being talked about a little bit more because of that shit. That, that mental health, because all that emo rap. You know? Mental health awareness, man. <laughs> they shot his ass. Who else they shoot, man? They shot a lot of... They, they shot Zach TV, who, who tried to help out Chicago. They shot his ass. If you a black nigga and you try to help out your black people, they gonna shoot your fucking punk ass, nigga. They don't care about your fucking ass, nigga. They don't care about you, nigga. They still gonna pop your fucking ass. They don't care about you, nigga. So you don't want you don't want to help out your black kid. No, nigga, no, 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 no. But you're black, man. I don't give a fuck. I didn't ask to be born black. I just came out black. Shit. Now I gotta support motherfuckers that ain't shit. And I understand not all black people ain't shit. I'm not a fucking uncle Uncle Ruckus. But like, go back to my analogy. Like I said again, if there's ten thousand people, if and 9,000 of them are some bitch-ass niggas. And only 1,000 is some good niggas. I'm not finna fucking try to find out who's the real nigga and who's the bitch nigga. I'm gonna say fuck all y'all niggas, man. Real talk. Because I, I don't have... Like, I'm not... Like, I don't have the ability to read people's mind. Read people... Like, read who they are. Like, like I have to get to know them to understand who they are fully. I can't, I can't just look at a person and be like... Okay, that nigga's a bitch nigga. That nigga a big nigga. Oh, that's a real nigga right there, cub. That's a real nigga right there, cub. And that's a big nigga right there, dog. You know, nigga, I, I got to sit down and talk to you. I have to observe you. I have to check your body language. I have to hear what you're saying. I got to look at your ass. I got to be be around your ass. I got to see how you are when you get angry. I got to... It takes time to fully analyze a person. It may take years before you fully are able to comprehend who a person is. I don't got time for that, man. I don't got time to put in all that work just to figure, figure a motherfucker out, nigga. I just got to say, just fuck this nigga, dog. Real talk. I just got to say, fuck this dude. Like, I don't got time for that, bro. So I, I, I'm not finna be doing that shit. Looking to see who is a real nigga, who's a fake nigga. Because some, fa- so, some bitch-ass nigga come off like they real nigga. You feel me? They come off like they some real nigga, but they not. So I don't got fuck that, man. Fuck. I, I'm, I'm done, man. I'm done. I'm done fucking... <laughs> I'm done trying to, like, make friends. I'm done trying to talk to women. I'm done, dude. I'm just done. I'm, I'm done with that shit. Totally. Totally. Like, I'm just done with that. Real talk. Like, I'm just done with that shit, man. 
I'm done with it. Like, it doesn't matter. Like, if, if you're a good person, you're always going to get played, bro. I, I just don't understand why people in this world play the good people. Why do people don't fuck? Why do people fuck over the good people, but the bad people, they, they don't fuck them over? Why I went like like God in the Bible? He's a piece of shit, but everyone dick rides. You know, why do people, even Jay Flaming got a video and he said something like, he said something like the heroes get hate or some shit like that. Like sometime in comics or something, the heroes be getting hated by the public sometimes. And I think I've seen that a couple of times when watching DC or DC or Marvel sometimes. And that's real, man. When you a real, when you just a, a, a good person, people hate on you, bro. They, they they treat you like shit. I just don't understand. People in this world, like, I just can't catch a break in this world. Every fucking day is always a new stress. It's always something new. Every fucking time I open my eyes like this, it's new bullshit in front of me that I have to fucking uh, challenge it. Every fucking time I open my fucking eyes, man. There's a nigga on YouTube. His name is The End of Time. And he says... His favorite time of the day is going to sleep. And I'm like, damn, I'm like, that's depressing as fuck. Your favorite time of day is going to sleep? He said, yeah, he said, my favorite time of day is going to bed. I said, damn, he said, he said, uh, because he said that he's not conscious during that time. So he just, his favorite time of the day is going to bed. And I, shit, at this point, that's my favorite time of the day too. Go take my ass to sleep because I ain't conscious, man. That's my favorite time of the day. Going to fucking sleep, man. <laughs> Cause I'm asleep. I don't gotta. I'm, I'm unconscious. I don't gotta worry about none of this bullshit, man. My brain shuts off temporarily, but it always wakes the fuck back up, man. I gotta do this shit again. I'm tired of this shit. It's like a fucking endless loop. It's it's it, it it's like I'm trapped in a loop. Like somebody got this shit on constant. Like God got his fucking. What's that fucking TV show with Adam Sandler where he fucking got the remote and he rewinds that shit and he does that bullshit. He it's called click. God got the fucking click remote and he just keeps rewinding the days every motherfucking day for me to experience the same bullshit every motherfucking time I wake up, man. I'm tired of this shit, man. Every fucking day is a new is is just new shit, man. Fake ass niggas fucking me over. Fake bitches, bills. My family pissing me off. You know, there's always something I, I got to deal with, man. Every time I open my fucking eyes, dog. I just can't never just get a break in this life. It's always something. And it's like, I'm just like I'm just used to this. Sh- I'm just used to not really having that many good days. I'm just used to it. I'm just used to for having most of my days to be bad or just eh. Because most of my days, most of my days are probably eh. It, but I don't really have good days. It's either eh or it's bad. It's never like a, what? You no, know, today was a good day, man. Like Ice Cube, today was a good day. So I So I see he he had a good day in that goddamn song. He played basketball, busted niggas in basketball. Say bust busting niggas in basketball. <clears throat> said he, I think he said he smoked some good weed. And then he said, I think he said he fuck he uh fucked the bitch. And then he said he. he he had a good breakfast. He said he had a good day that day. He said he didn't have to shoot nobody. Didn't get no drama. It was a good day. Man, when was my last good day? When, when was my last good day? My last good day was probably last year at when we, and it's on my channel, where we went to Noah's Ark to, and the family went on a family vacation and we went to Noah's Ark in Kentucky to see the Noah's Ark. Even though I don't believe in the Bible, it was still kind of fun looking at that shit, you know, seeing the Ark and all that other shit. It was still kind of cool. So that was my last, last year, nigga, that was my last good day. Last year in June. But that was my last good day. June of last year. That was my last good day. Over a year has that's been my last good day. I haven't had a good day since that day. <laughs> Over a year. You know, every other day it's like, eh, another day. And then it's like, oh, it's today sucks. It's never nothing good, man. Every day is a fucking bad day. Every time I open my fucking eyeballs like this, it's a bad day or it's an eh day. I'm tired of this shit, man. Like, I, I'm just tired of this life. I'm tired of these fucked up people. I'm tired of people that 
take me for granted. Take advantage of me. Use me. I'm tired of fucking going to work. I'm tired of fucking paying bills. I'm tired of fucking having my parents and my family get on my ass about getting a job. I'm tired of fucking aging and my body changes and shit. Like for like right now, like uh, like I said, when you graduate high school, a lot of people put on weight because your body changes, man. Like when you're in high school, you're 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 a fit ass motherfucker. When you graduate, your metabolism changes. So now it's harder to lose weight. You know, I used to be able to lose weight pretty easily. Now it's 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 impossible for me to drop the pounds, man. Like it's 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 hard for me to drop these drop these calories. You know, it's hard now. A lot of people that I saw from high school, they all a lot of them niggas gain weight. You know, because that's what happens when you graduate. You gain weight, right? And then right now, like my fucking right ankle. Now, every time in the morning when I wake up, my fucking ankle hurts and I got to fucking stretch it and shit. And I got to fucking get it warmed up and shit. And I don't know why it's doing that because I never injured my, my right ankle. So I don't know why it's fucking like acting up like that. That's aging. Maybe. I don't know. It could be. But it's, it's probably aging, man. You just get random aches and pains and shit. And I'm still... No, nah, don't get me wrong. I'm, I'm still a young ass nigga, nigga. I'm, I'm not no old ass motherfucker, but I'm just saying. I'm like, damn, I just woke up randomly and my fucking ankle st- hurts a little bit. Right now, it's, it's good because, you know, it's the end of the day and I've been walking all day and moving around. So, it's not tripping out. But when I go to sleep and wake up, that should be kind of hurting a little bit. That's aging. One of these days, y'all going to wake up and be like, damn, why does my back hurt? What the fuck? And then, and that's going to be a sign of you aging, nigga. Another thing. 88% of men go bald. 88%. I already got a big ass forehead, nigga. I'm, all this hair I got is going to be gone, motherfucker. I'm going to be bald. Be a bald ass nigga. Lose all my hair and shit, man. It's ridiculous, man. I'm tired of this shit. Like, I didn't ask to do this shit. I didn't ask to fucking age. I didn't ask to work. I didn't ask to be born to my family. I didn't fucking ask to be betrayed by people. I didn't ask for none of this shit. Everything that I'm going through, I didn't ask for this shit, man. I'm tired of this shit. Every time I open, it's always something. I, I just don't like people, bro. I don't. I do not like people. I don't, I don't like people, bro. I don't. I didn't wake up and just become like this. I just, it, it just happened over time. It just happened through all my experience with people. It just happened. And people just fucking lower my, they just don't meet, they just don't meet my expectations most of the time. I just don't like human beings, man. I'm tired of human beings, bro. Real talk. I'm tired of human beings, man. They're fake. They'll fucking stab you in the back. They'll use you. They only want to talk to you if you benefit them. Like, like, like if you're the weed man you get, and you got all the weed, they'll fuck with you because you got the weed. You know, they'll they'll fuck with you because you got the weed. Or if, if, if you the nigga that got the car, they'll fuck with you because you got the car. Because you have the whip. So they'll fuck you because they know they can get a ride from you. Or you the nigga that gets the bitches. So they'll fuck you because you got all the hoes. Or you or you the nigga that got you got clout. So they'll fuck you just because you got clout. It's all be just to use you, man. It's not a genuine connection. It's all just to get something from you, dog. Right? Right? I'm just I'm the sick of this shit. You know? And that's some real shit, bro. Women... Women love the bad boy, bro. Every girl always wants to date the bad boy. All of them. So, all that nice shit, yeah, like, they'll put you in a friend zone if you're nice. But they won't take you seriously. Oh, he's so nice. Are you fucking him? No, he's my bestie. You know, but come on, man. (laughs) Come on. Damn. No one wants to be your motherfucking bestie, motherfucker. Damn. Damn. Let the nice guy get some action. But no, you want to fuck the fucking... Yeah, nigga, my name Tyrone, nigga. I'm on the block, nigga. Yeah, nigga, yeah, nigga, yeah, nigga. Tired of this shit, man. But I'm, I'm already off that shit. I'm already, I already left that shit alone, bro. But at this point, I know... I understand what... what what's that nigga's name? Um, that, that nigga that... uh, Damn, what's that nigga's name? Renegade One. He said, let, let the world burn. That's the real talk, man. Like... Like now, I'm not now. Now he said he said that that he gets excited 
when he sees terrorist attacks. I'm not. No, he said he's happy when he sees when he sees uh, terrorist bombings and shit because he's like he said, you know, I get happy when I see terrorist bombings because that's just more people wiped off this more fucked up people wiped off this earth. And I'm like, I see what you're saying, but that's a little fucked up. I'm not advocating any sort of violence to nobody, but at this point, man, I just don't give a fuck, bro. I'm not fucking helping out anybody. I don't give a fuck. If there's a nigga bleeding the fuck out, I'm not going to help that motherfucker, man. I ain't finna help that nigga, man. Real talk. Hey, yo. Hey, can you please call 911, nigga? I ain't calling shit, man. Fuck you. Fuck you. Hell no, nah, nigga. Because you most likely a bitch-ass nigga. Fuck her. Fuck no. Nah. I ain't helping out no man, no woman, none of that shit. And at this point, I'm starting not to care about kids either because, yeah, yeah, a kid is a is a, is a a little baby, but they're, they're going to grow up and be a menace. You know, everybody start, starts off as a, as a kid. Yeah, I'm just a little baby, but they're going to grow up and be a piece of shit. So why even help out a child, nigga? But I don't, I don't know if I got that far not to help out children. I mean, maybe we can guide them to the right path or something. But I don't know, man. I like I, I just really just don't want to help out people, man. I I just want to avoid people, bro. I I, I just don't want to. I don't know, bro. I'm, I'm I'm just fucking tired of this shit, man. That's why I, I stay in the house all day. I I stay isolated. I'm just like a fucking hermit. I'm a hermit. I stay in the house. This is my safe space, bro. I'm away from the outside world, bro. Fuck real talk, and from the, and, you know. And Vision World, he's on YouTube. He says he goes to the grocery store early in the morning or late at night when 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 there's no people there. And I feel that man, cause I don't want to, I don't even want to interact with people, man. You know, real talk, bro. I don't know, bro. I don't fucking know. I mean, I don't know if 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 I would not if I would not help somebody if they're dying or something. I don't know if I'd go that far, but who knows? I don't know. Because at this point, I, I, I'm just starting to hate. I, I'm just starting. Well, I already hate humanity. I, I ain't starting. I already been hating motherfuckers, man. I'm tired of this shit. I'm so, I'm so fucked. Mi- misanthropy, nigga. Misanthropy. Misanthropy. However you pronounce that. I'm tired of this shit, man. It's always some bitch-ass motherfuckers on this earth, bro. I'm tired of this shit, man. So, shit. Niggas may fucking retire off of YouTube because, like... If all these motherfuckers are some bitch ass niggas, why the fuck am I making videos just to help out bitch ass niggas? I'm not trying. Hell no, fuck that. I ain't helping out nobody, man. Fuck this, man. So this might this might be my last video, and and and, and I know I said that a couple times, but I'm just sick of this shit, man. Real talk, bro. I understand that everybody's not bad, obviously, but I'm just tired of this shit. It's always something, bro. Every time I open my eyes. There's always some new shit that pisses me the fuck off, dog. I, I'm just sick of this shit, man. Work. Bills. F- fucked up people that treat you like shit and stab you in the back. Fucking boredom. I'm tired of being bored all the time. I'm tired of having to eat, put food in my body. I'm tired of drinking water. I'm tired of taking a shit. I'm tired of going pee. I'm tired of this shit, man. I didn't ask to do this shit. I just, I just do it. I'm tired of cutting my hair. My hair grows back so fast, bro. Like, like I cut my hair yesterday. In four days, four more days, my shit finna be all fucked up. And I gotta line it up again, cut it, line my beard up, fade my shit. I can do all shit all over. Pluck my eyebrows all over again. I'm tired of my hair growing back. You know? I'm tired of fucking <laughs> people that is in religion that try to force their bullshit on you. I'm tired of that. I'm tired of ads on YouTube that tell you to try to convince you to buy something. Come down here and you get 20% off. I'm tired of ads trying to get you to buy something. I'm tired of fucking, you know, what else am I tired of? I'm tired of fucking, um, what else am I tired of, man? I'm just tired of a lot of fucking shit, man. I'm tired of this shit, man. And, 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 and the thing about fake people, you got fake people that's like, because like there's been some people that say, that told me, hey, bro. You need to watch out for that person. Why? But, hey, bro, they're talking about you, bro. I'm just letting you know, bro, because I fuck with you and I got your back, bro. I fuck with you, bro. And that same motherfucker is on some bullshit, too. So don't don't fall for that shit either. 
oh, bro, I'm, hey, that nigga right there talking about you, bro. I'm going to let you know because I'm a real nigga and I fuck with you, dog. That same shit. Don't, don't fall for that shit either. Because that nigga be on some Fugazi shit too. Or that female be on that bullshit too. Don't fall for that shit. Because you're thinking they fucked you because they tell you about someone else talking about you. But, but, but they talking about you too. Don't fall for that. Or, or some people just have that look on their face like, like they've been hurt before. And people will say, yo, you need to open up. You can trust me. You can trust me. You can't trust them. Don't fall, man. Anything that a person tries to say to get you to open up, don't fall for that shit. Just be alone. Fuck it. I know it sucks being alone because us as humans, we're social creatures. We have a mouth to talk and ears to listen. We're born with the desire to socialize, to want to make friends and have a relationship. That's in our nature. But but fuck that. You got. You, but you have to. You have to disregard your nature. You, you have to disregard your nature. Because us anti-natalists, we're disregarding our nature to reproduce. Yes, that's our nature, but we're saying no to that. So, so say no to fucking trying to make friends and shit. Just say no to it. sucks because we all want friends. Even though I'm an introvert, sometimes I do want to talk to people sometimes, man. Sometimes it does get lonely sometimes when you have no one to talk to. That's why I make videos because I can't talk to people in real life. So I just get on camera and talk, right? So that does get lonely, but... Just, just gotta disregard that, man. It's just, I'm tired of this shit, man. Shit, one of these days you never know. Nigga may fucking jump off a roof. I don't know. I don't know. It kind of sucks that I don't have the balls to do it, man. I don't have the balls, man. I'm a pussy. I'm a bitch ass nigga, and that's fucked up. You know, I don't want to be no bitch ass nigga, man. I'm tired of this shit, man. I'm, there's no point in me being here. Why am I here for? Work. We deal with fucked up people. I can't. I can't. I can't have no friends. I can't have no girlfriend. <laughs> you know. I can't fucking just be in peace and just not have to worry about paying a bill, light bill. Like that light's on every second. It's like one cent. Like, like Probably like every five minutes is one cent. Five minutes, that's one cent. Ten minutes, that's two cent. Three minutes, 15. I'm tired, man. Come on, man. You know? Yeah, I'm, just, well, yeah, I'm, not, I'm just here to pay bills. I'm here to get, get shit on by people. I'm, get, I'm here to fucking be, be ridiculed. I'm here to fucking... You know, <laughs> work all the time and get treated like shit and get disrespected and do stuff I don't want to fucking do, man. That's all, that's all I'm here to do. You know, I'm, 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 I'm here to grow old and get wrinkles and fucking gray hair, and I'm here to fucking <laughs> get brit brittle bones from aging and weak knees and. When you grow older, your your uh, your brain ain't as sharp as it once was. Well, like, like 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 right now, like I, I like I consider myself very intelligent. My brain is sharp. My brain's sharp, and when I get older, I'm like I may lose my mind because my brain is fucking aging and shit. Now. That's not true for everybody, cause a guy like Dick Gregory, he was old as shit, and he he still had a good mind. I mean, I already really watched none of his video, like I already really watch him like that. But when he was talking, like he ain't sound like he was losing his like his 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 uh, brain and shit. So that's not for everybody. But I'm just sick of it, man. I'm just tired. I'm tired of this life, man. I'm tired of this shit. I'm like, I'm tired of. I'm just tired of this shit, man. Like, why am I? I'm not. I'm just here for no reason. And I'm forced to live this shit. I didn't ask to live this shit, man. <laughs> I mean, come on, man. I'm just tired of this shit, dude. <laughs> you know? And then people talk about me because of my age. Stop complaining. Be a man. I'm, 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 I'm tired of that phrase. Be a man. Stop complaining. Take your fucking ass to work. Apply for that job. Work that job even though you're getting paid like shit. Work that low wage job and be on the hamster wheel and go get a job and shut your ass up. Just take the fucking capital capitalistic dick up your ass and just shut it. Shut it. Pay your rent until you drop. Disregard your mental <clears throat> disregard your mental health. Who cares if you want to jump off a cliff? No, nigga, fuck. Take your ass to that job and kiss your boss's ass for the rest of your life till you're 65, but nigga. Keep doing that shit till you're 65, dick. 
That's, that, 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 that's what they tell you to do, man. I'm tired of that shit, man. You don't get no sympathy in this world. People that say, take your ass to work, man. No sympathy. <laughs> tired of this shit, man. So you never know, man. One of these days, nigga may do that shit. I don't fucking know. I don't know. I'm thinking about it. I'm, th I'm think. I'm thinking. Think. 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 Brain blast. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I've been thinking. I've been th I'm thinking. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'll jump off a roof or do something to self-delete. I don't know. Because I, I ain't trying to do this shit for a, for a long time. People say life is short. Oh, life is short, nigga. Life is long, nigga. I'm still in this bitch. Like, it ain't short. It's long. Shit. I'm tired of this shit. I'm tired of fucking always being uh, trying to watch out for danger. So, you know, because like we have to watch out for, for burglars or, or fucking crazy people. And, oh, and that's another thing. I was talking to a girl on the phone and she said that her dad are a PED to her and, and she got pregnant with two kids. Wow, well, how can a father do that? So you brought this little, you brought this girl to the world. You brought this girl to the world. You saw her when she was a little baby, a newborn. Her eyes were closed and you saw her, you saw her as, when she still had a fucking uh, umbilical cord. When she was, when she damn near did barely even existed. You saw her as a newborn baby. You saw her as a baby, and then you, she grows up to be 14, and you rape her, and you get her pregnant. You didn't even have the audacity to put on a cop. You didn't even have, you didn't even have the audacity to put on one of these. You just busted your fucking father's semen inside her and got the girl pregnant with two kids? That's some fucked up shit. That nigga, you know what? I'm finna ask that girl. I'm finna, <laughs> I'm finna ask that girl. I'm finna ask that girl, what's your dad's name? And send me a picture of that motherfucker! So I can write his fucking name in my motherfucking death note, bitch! The fuck? I don't got no names in this bitch shit. I don't got any names in my motherfucking death note, nigga. Because I'm, 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 okay, who should I write in this? Whose name should I write in this death note? And I couldn't think of nobody. There was one guy that, that I did have that I was that I was gonna put in my death note, but you have to have uh, a name and a face. And I think I got his I got his name, but I don't got his face, so I couldn't write his name in the death note because that's not in the rules. You gotta have name and face. So I'm gonna text that girl. I'm gonna say, "Yo, what's your dad's name?" I'm gonna ask her to send his name and send me a picture because I'm gonna his name. He's gonna be, he's gonna be the he's he's gonna be the first name in my death note. I'm writing that nigga's name in my death note, nigga. I don't give a fuck. I wish this shit was real, nigga. Cause I killed that motherfucker. Fuck is wrong with that mother man? Get the fuck out of here, man. I'm tired of this shit, man. Sometimes, sometimes I, sometimes I, I do have the urge to fucking off a motherfucker. Sometimes, man. Well, not urge, but sometimes. Sometimes I, sometimes I do think about that shit, man. Because some people just don't need to exist. But, man, I wish this shit was real. Because I'll be wiping off all these motherfuckers. Fuck out of here, man. And it's good because I don't got to get my hands dirty. I don't got to get my... Nigga, I just write your name in this shit. Wipe your fucking bitch ass off this fucking face of the earth, bitch. Fuck this. I'm tired of this fucking shit, man. Fuck out of here. I'm just, I'm just, man. I wish I had the balls to off my motherfucking self, but I just don't have the balls, man. I'm a bitch. Because I feel pain. I have the emotion called fear, and it just stops me from doing it. I'm a bitch, man. I, I'm tired. I, I don't I don't care about none of this shit on this earth, man. I'm tired. I'm tired of all this shit. All this shit on this earth, I'm tired of it. I, I don't care about it. <laughs> Well, I am reading my manga right there, my Death Note manga. I do want to finish that first, but I'm just tired of this shit, man. Uh, even the shit that I like, it's just not worth it. I, I like anime, but a anime isn't enough to live. I like food, but food ain't enough for me to live. I like fucking, fucking, uh, motherfucking, uh, a lot of shit, but it's just not worth it, man. I'm tired of this shit, man. 
I can't get no friends. I can't fucking get a girlfriend. It's hard to get laid. <laughs> it's hard to get laid. You know, and even getting laid is worthless too. It's not even all that. But I want to get laid one more time, one more time, and then that's it. I want to call it wraps. I, Cause I'm tired of like I don't. I, I, man, you know, no, man, 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 fuck, no, man, wait, 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 what? No, man, fuck that late shit. I, I was just talking about. I don't fuck with. Well, that's what I was trying to do until this situation. But fuck that. I'm, I'm, no, I'm, no, I'm done with that late shit. That was what I was trying to do before this situation happened. But yeah, I'm done with that shit. I'm just jack my shit off, man. I'm finna jack my shit off after I turn this video off. So <laughs> tired of jacking my shit off, man. <laughs> tired of jacking my shit off, man. Tired of doing this shit, man. Tired of doing this goddamn shit, dog. But I don't know, man. I'm oh my god. Yeah, this might be my final video, because I'm tired of even talking to y'all motherfuckers, man. I'm tired of fucking... Because, like I said, most people on this earth is fake. Why the fuck am I making videos trying to help out fake motherfuckers? Fuck that. That's fucking stupid. Fuck that bullshit. All right, man? Because most people on this earth is fucked up, so... It's only a small bit of people that actually get good value from my videos, and most motherfuckers is fake niggas getting value from my videos, and they fake-ass motherfuckers, man. Fuck, man. I ain't trying to help out no fake-ass nigga. Bullshit. My God, man. Trying, trying to think of more stuff to say because I'm going to close this video now. But. I think that's everything, man. I don't got nothing else to say, man. That's fucked up. <laughs> I don't know, bro. That's all I can say. I'm out. Done, Sheen. She's gone. Yuria's gone forever. This whole town. It all belongs to you. So, how do you feel about me now? I. My heart will never change. And until it does, you will never stop doing this. Ken, I can't keep my promise to you any longer. This town, all the wealth, fame, and power I had, it was all worthless. I only ever wanted one thing. Yuria! It seems my time is up. But know this. You will not be the one to kill me. I will. Goodbye, Kenshiro! But why? Why would you dig a grave for a man like that? Because he and I love the same woman. <laughs> <laughs>